This is BBC Sussex. Yeah, from Sussex, though, we're about to cross live to Western Australia, where a scout leader from Worthing and a seaman adventure from Hampshire are preparing to row 3,600 miles across the Indian Ocean in a bid to prove nothing's impossible. And what makes this trip even more remarkable is that the scout leader, Ashley Wilson, has epilepsy. And let's, uh, fingers crossed, hopefully cross to Ashley, who's in Geraldton in Western Australia for us now. Uh, good day to you, Ashley. Hello, Mark. Hi. You, you know, you've got to do the good day thing if you're in Australia. <laughs> good day. That's more like it. Now, look, first up, um, just to gloat a little bit, because, you know, we're only into May, but we've got quite a good weather forecast for the weekend here. What's it like where you are? Um, it's absolutely chucking it down the rain and blowing a hoolie here. <laughs> yes, and, that, and I knew that in advance, and that's why I asked you. Anyway, look, enough about yeah. the weather. Um, I mean, this is an incredible feature about to undertake. Um, give us a bit about your background, though, because you haven't had the best of health. Uh, no, no, I haven't. Um, I was to, to go back a little bit further, I mean, I was diagnosed with epilepsy when I was seven, um, and... Ten years or so ago, it went completely haywire, and I was having upwards of 20 seizures a day. Uh, luckily enough, that's, that's sort of calmed down a little bit, but I do still have a seizure or so a week. Uh, and also, I, had, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma when I was 19, um, so it's, it's been a little bit of a, a rocky ride, to say the least. So how old are you now? Yeah. Uh, I'm 37 now. 37. I mean, an awful lot, though, to, to, con to cope with over the last few years, you know, both with, with the epilepsy, but also, as you say, you kind of mentioned it in passing, that diagnosis at the age of 19, when most people are out and about, you know, enjoying life and, uh, and you know, and girlfriends and all that kind of thing, you're, you're dealing with a diagnosis of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yes, yeah. Um, a, a, lot, a lot thrown at me, but um, that's, that's one of the reasons why I want to take on this challenge, to throw it... it to show it doesn't necessarily mean life has to stop. Um, it's to show the to young people mainly, especially those with um, epilepsy or another type of disability, that um, it doesn't matter what life throws at you, that you you can um, you can get on with life. Um, you don't have to necessarily go out and do something quite as crazy as row an ocean, but you can get out there and you can get on and lead a normal life. And actually, why this particular challenge? Why did you plump for this? Um. I got chatting to, um, to um, the chap who's coming with me, James, who you'll chat to in a minute, no doubt. Um, and epilepsy and water is actually a reasonably safe thing to mix together, providing you put the right, right precautions in place. So we will put a life jacket on that, um, that will flip me up the right way when it goes off so that um, my face is out of the water. I'll be leashed onto the boat at all times. James has taken specialist epilepsy training by one of our charities, Young Epilepsy. So all of those things combined make the challenge as safe as humanly possible, basically. And, and when are you actually doing this and how long do you think it'll take you? Uh, we will leave as soon as the weather turns right for us, which we're hoping is Monday. Right. Um, and there is a little bit of a target in place, which um, there, there's a record that stands at 86 days. Um, um, the icing on the cake, we would love to be under that, basically. OK. And, and um, before we speak to him, tell us a little bit about James, because uh, he's a pretty incredible chap. Uh, he is a pretty incredible chap. Um, he's uh, the, the reason I'm going with James is because of some of the some of the things he's done and the support he can obviously offer me. I mean, I'm going to suffer something like a dozen seizures on the way across if they if they stay the same as they are now. So, I mean, uh, the experience James will provide will um, will be invaluable. Um, I mean, James has been across the Atlantic solo. Um, uh, rowing the Atlantic. Um, he's been up Everest and he's also cycled the world, so so that experience will be invaluable. Well, we, we wish you all the very best of luck. I mean, you, you sound, as, as I've often said with people like yourself, slightly mad to be doing this, but I know that you're going to do it and you're going to be in safe hands. So let's let's have a quick word with, with James if we can as well. That'd be great. Yes, yeah, no problem. Okay, doke. Let's have a word with uh, James Ketchell, who's also on the line to me now. Morning to you, James. Hi there. How's it going? Uh, good, I'm, good morning. I'm, Thank you for having me. No, and uh, of course we have we have met before because. Just remind us of that rather epic challenge which involved you at one point coming to us here in Brighton. Uh, that was on the 1st of February 2014, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was my last day when I cycled from Brighton up to London to complete the world cycle. Yeah, I remember it very well. Yes, uh, yeah, one of many 
strangely mad things that you've done in your time. <laughs> I've been on a few uh, expeditions, yeah. That's what I love. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it certainly, yes, the, the, the kind of adrenaline rush is, is, is clear to see. Uh, in, in this particular challenge, yes, it's a challenge for yourself, but also you're going to be a vital support uh, to our man Ashley there as well. Yeah, absolutely. This is a different project, really. Um, you know, rowing with, with Ash as well. And, you know, Ash is going to be amazing on the boat. I know he is. But there will be times when he has seizures and then it's really up to me to, to look after him. So there's a bit of pressure on me. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, I couldn't really think of a better guy to row an ocean with. He's overcome huge adversity in his life. He's probably the nicest guy I've ever met. And he does so much for other people in his community and just in general. I think really the opportunity for me to row with Ash and work with him and make sure we both get across safely is something that I'm very lucky to have, really. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get out there. And actually, people can follow us across on the website, www.nothings-impossible.co.uk. Wonderful. And we, we will do that. And, uh, I mean, just, just briefly, that, that world record, I mean, as, uh, as Ash was saying, it'd be the icing on the mm -hmm. cake. Yeah, it, actually, we both feel very, very confident. We've, we've got a very good boat. It's a full carbon custom build. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good boat. We, we've got the best boat that we could possibly have. It's really up to Ash and I to go, 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 go and row it now. But, uh, yeah, I think it, there's a lot of luck involved with these things, though. We've got to have the weather on our side. So, well, fingers we, crossed. We, we send loads of luck your way, and, and best of luck to both of you, James <laughs> you. and Ashley. Thank you for coming on the programme.